Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to discuss about Visual Evoked Potential that is VEP. Visual Evoked Potential is also known as Visual Evoked Response or VER. It is an electrodiagnostic test. It measures the electrical signal generated at the visual cortex in response to visual stimulation. VEP is gross electrical response recorded from visual cortex in response to a changing visual stimulus such as multiple flash or pattern stimuli as you can see in this picture. It requires a relatively normal retinal or macular function to be a reliable test of visual pathway function. There are two types of VEP. They are pattern reversal VEP and flash VEP. Pattern reversal VEP or PR VEP gives the most clinical information. Flash VEP is useful in poorly cooperative patients. Now let us discuss the indications for VEP. Optic nerve disease, particularly subclinical demyelination, chiasmal and retrochiasmal dysfunction, and when there is suspicion of non-organic visual loss. Now let us discuss the method of VEP. First let us see about the preparation of the patient. The pupil should be undilated. The refractive error should be corrected. VEP is uniocular recording. So we have to patch the other eye. The electrodes placed in VEP are occipital lobe electrode, forehead electrode and ear lobe or vertex electrode. PR VEP measures activity over the visual cortex following a reversing high contrast black and white checkerboard as you can see in this picture. The nature of the stimulus and the size of the visual field stimulated that is central 15 degree imply the PR VEP predominantly reflects macular cone activity. The occipital cortex voltage changes over time are plotted as waveforms. Now let us discuss the results of VEP. A positive deflection occurs at about 100 milliseconds. This is the P100. Negative deflections occur at around 75 and 135. These are N75 and N135. Coming to the interpretation of VEP, reduced amplitude and increased peak time of P100 typically occur in optic neuropathies and optic neuritis. That is, the amplitude will be reduced and the latency will be increased in optic neuritis. They also occur in maculopathies. So, a delayed or reduced PRVEP should not be considered pathognomic of optic nerve disease and must be interpreted in conjunction with retinal function tests like ERG. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. Thank you.